This Flutter tutorial shows how to build live streaming into your app with Zego Cloud. To embed live streaming feature, we are going to integrate and customize Zego Cloud pre-built UIKit SDK into your app. Then host start a live and audience watch a live with Zego Cloud real-time or content delivery network. It's that simple. Now, we are in a React Native environment. Let's enter the command to create a new project. This may take a few minutes. Okay, the new project has been created. Then enter the command to run the new project's default app. It's a preparation for the next step. Now it's finished. Next, we're starting to add dependencies. Firstly, open the package.json. Then copy codes in there like this. Secondly, open the app.js file to modify the default code. Here, we will implement a home page with two live buttons. Next, we enter yarn install on the terminal to download the dependencies and wait for it to download. Now, restart the app. And we can see the modified home page screen. Okay, we are going to take an important step, which is using the Zego UI kit pre built live streaming in your project. Now you can import the SDK like this. Next, we need to create a live page in the app. Then you need to enter your app ID and app sign, and I will show you how to find them in Zego Cloud Admin Console. Here is the page of the console after you sign in. Create your own project. And then click the edit button. OK. You can directly copy your app ID and app sign here. Returning to VS Code, we continue on the live page. In our test program, we use random strings as a user ID and username. If you have your own user account system, you can use the real user ID and username. Host and audience can use the same live ID to enter the same live streaming. You can customize the rules of live ID as you like, according to your business logic. Now, let's keep finishing all the code for this step. Okay, for the second main step, we are going to help you configure your project for Android and iOS. Let's see how Android works. Firstly, you need to add app permissions. Continuously open the Android, SRC, main, Android manifest, and add the following code, just like this. Secondly, we need to prevent obfuscation of the SDK public class names. So, open the Android app ProGuard rules.pro and add the following code as shown. That is the part for Android. And we keep adding iOS permissions. Open the info.plist file in the iOS folder. Add the following code to the dict part. This is the part for iOS. Now, we need to restart the application. OK. Now you have finished all the steps. You can make a new live by clicking the button. You also can run and test your app on your device simply. Live streaming now can be used in your app. And that is all for integrating LiveKit and building live features in React Native. Let's get started.